Well, I think people misunderstand what a customs union is. Effectively, if you're outside of the EU, it's effective in import policy. So let me give you an example. Uh, if the EU does a trade deal with Canada, for example, which it's just done, and they agree to reduce manufacturing tariffs to zero, EU exports to Canada hit a 0% tariff. Canadian exports to the EU, 0% tariff. Canadian exports to the UK, 0% tariff. But UK, being outside of the EU but in the customs union, doesn't benefit from the EU trade deal. Therefore, UK manufacturing exports to Canada hit the WTO tariff. So it's an asymmetrical process. You don't get any benefit for the UK actually by being in that customs union. The only benefit is an import policy and no internal borders. So when the British side, and specifically members of your own party back in Westminster, talk about being trapped in a customs union by this backstop, what are they concerned about? Is it that lack of parity when it comes to what that means for trade in the future. Yeah, I mean, effectively, that's what it is. It means that if you're a manufacturing business based in the UK, you're not going to have access to any global markets outside of the UK on preferential terms. At the moment in the EU, the UK does have that. It will lose that the day we, we leave the EU. And the aim, I think, for many on the Conservative side is to have uh, an independent trade policy where you can actually go and negotiate your trade deals. In this case, we not only can't negotiate trade deals, but we also don't benefit from the EU trade deals. So therefore, the only uh, preferential access that we get is in the EU itself. So it's a much worse position than actually we're in at the moment. So if it leaves us in the UK in a, in a worse position in the future, what is a solution that avoids a hard border on the island of Ireland? Well, it's very difficult. If you're in different customs territories, it's very different, difficult to avoid a border. I mean, I think the UK government has looked at technological solutions. That's certainly a possibility, but it needs buy-in from both sides. And at the moment, that isn't there. So this is the challenge then for both the British and the Irish governments to avoid that hard border, as they both promised to try and do. If the UK continues to maintain this idea, as Theresa May has continually espoused, that she doesn't want to join a customs union, you're saying right now, unless the Europeans buy into a technological solution that doesn't seem to exist right now based on what their studies have shown. How does this end? Well, I think it's a challenge because there's going to have to be a border somewhere, and I think that's the challenge. Is, and this is the problem with the backstop, is where does the border exist, the customs border exist? Does it exist between, within the UK, between Northern Ireland and the UK, which is uh, very difficult for many members of the, of the Parliament in the UK? Or does the border exist between Ireland and the rest of the EU? And I think that's actually the problem underneath all of these discussions is that there's no way the EU is going to uh, ensure that there's a border between Ireland and the rest of the EU, but also if the UK isn't going to, to, to move on, on its border, you're still stuck in this impasse. And the customs union, though, isn't the way out of the impasse for the UK. So if you consider this uh, as a game theorist, what you're saying essentially is that right now the Europeans want this hard choice on the border to be Theresa May's responsibility, because otherwise it becomes their responsibility. I think that's a bit of the challenge, is of course, if you're going to be in different customs territories, then you're going to have to have a border somewhere. And the debate at the moment is where is that border? Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.